all right guys welcome back to another video here on hogwarts legacy in this one i want to show you on how to get every item in your inventory to be legendary now there's actually a an exploit that you can do i wouldn't call that a glitch but a little exploit that you can do to get a bunch of legendaries and i'll be doing this live so i can show you that it works you're not going to need anything but your save points so what we're going to be doing is opening up three different chests that i'm going to show you in this video and each chest is guaranteed to give you a legendary item and with those items that you can get you can actually replay that save to give you a specific item that you want so let me show you exactly how this works so for the first chest i'm going to show you on i'll show you exactly where that is located you want to be in hogsmeade in this part of hogsmeade over here okay the north hogsmeade fire okay so once we are here you want to turn from honey dukes to the right and follow this way over here Rebellion. and if you use revelio just over here you can see the chest that we're going to be unlocking just over here so before we do actually unlock any of these chests what we're going to do is make a save point a manual save point just by going into settings save game and an empty slot should be just fine now you can remember the date and the exact time so from here what we're gonna do is just simply open up the chest just like so okay so we've gotten a uh, a glove all right so now if you don't actually want this glove if you want something let's say a face wear or a head wear what you can do is basically just go over to settings one more time you can go to load game and you can load up that save once again and you can open up the chest once more and you can get the specific item that you want now let me show you exactly where the other two chests that i know of at the moment this is early game you can do this right now all right, so for this second chest, um, it's actually kind of confusing to me, and I really don't know why sometimes it doesn't spawn, but I'll show you exactly where it's located. And what you want to do is just open up your map real quick. Okay, so here is Hogsmeade. Now, if you just go north of Hogsmeade along this trail, uh, you'll find this little town here called Hogsfield, okay? And this fire right here, this food fire right here called Upper Hogsfield, what you want to do is just fast travel to this or just beat around this um it will look just like this all right so what you want to do is behind this sign just over here now sometimes for me it spawns sometimes it doesn't and basically what it is it's an archway you will see this it's a huge archway just by this rock it's, it's a big archway okay and if you go through it it's like a maze if you go through the maze and inside the maze will be that chest now i'm sorry that i don't actually have the gameplay i've been trying all day to try get this maze to spawn sometimes it spawns and i try to get the video ready i fast travel there and it just despawns hopefully it's there for you guys i tried revelio i've tried so many things and it sometimes just doesn't spawn but it will be right in this area i promise you it's here i have seen it all right, so for the final chest that I want to show you, it's actually located in Hogwarts itself. Now, this is the most complicated one, but it's pretty easy. What you want to do is come over to this side of the castle, okay? And then you want to make a waypoint to the Viaduct Courtyard, just like this, okay? And then you should be able to come over to this bridge right here, okay? Now, once you are on this bridge, you're going to have to do this puzzle on the bridge. Now, you're going to need this spell right here which is in Syndigo. You get this quite early game anyway, within the third, within the within the first five missions anyway. So what you want to do is light these fires just like so. Okay. Okay, so once all the fires are lit, what you want to do is go over to this side just by the door now every single one of these symbols has a number on top of them so like the triangle has a one the triangle with the cross has a three the moon with the line has a two and the diamond has a four so what you want to do is go to these and you can interact with them and it will change the number 
like this. So let's do that. So for the diamonds, it has a four. The moon has a two. And then that's a one and that's a three. Okay, well, the secret compartment or this secret passageway has been opened. Now we can actually go down this uh, ladder, actually, if you want to just go down there. Thank you. Okay, now here you can actually use Revelio. And there's a bunch of chests and items you can actually pick up as well. Okay. And here is the chest that we're looking for. And that is the third one that I know of right now. If there are any more, I will make an in-depth guide to show all the locations for every single one. All right, and that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this does help you guys get in some unlimited ways of getting some legendary items that you want. And yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon with some more legendary, oh, sorry, with more Hogwarts Legacy videos. Incendio. 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 Incendio.